Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment. Thank you. If you're new to knife collecting, you've probably heard somebody refer to back pocket knives. In this video, we'll talk about back pocket knives, what they are and what they're not. Okay, today I'm going to talk about a traditional pattern that really isn't a traditional pattern, and that is the back pocket knife. A lot of people ask, what, what's a back pocket knife? And they assume that it is a particular type of knife, but that's not the case at all. Really what it is, is any large frame knife that's relatively flat that would feel more comfortable in a back pocket instead of a front pocket. For instance, we have here the uh, Granddaddy Barlow. Now this knife comes in at about five inches long but it's relatively flat because it's a one layer knife. So it'll fit nice in a back pocket and you've got a lot of blade to work with with it. This one's by Rough Rider. You see it's a relatively big knife um, and if it's in your front pocket, it can get in the way. But if you slip it in your back pocket, it's not going to be nearly as problematic. Now, obviously, if all you're doing is sitting around making videos all day, this is going to be uncomfortable in your back pocket because you're sitting on it. Uh, so really what they're talking about is people who are out there actually working and stuff and carrying knives. Uh, they'll throw a knife like this into their back pocket as a second knife uh, so that uh, they have it when they need a really big knife. And so... A Barlow, a Granddaddy Barlow, makes an excellent back pocket knife because you're not going to need it all the time, but when you do need it, you just reach into your back pocket and it's there. Other knives that you see often a, called a back pocket knife are like a hawkbill blade. Now, um, you're not going to need a hawkbill all the time, but if you're out in the field and you're doing a lot of cutting and you need this kind of a blade for cutting rope and cutting vines and stuff like that, then a hawkbill will come in real handy. Also, if you're out there cutting carpeting, uh, laying linoleum, I mean, this knife has so many different names for it. Uh, the pruner, a linoleum knife, a carpet knife, a hawkbill, so on and so forth. So a lot of people use it, um, but you know, if it's a secondary blade, you throw it in your back pocket because it takes up a lot of space, big and flat, uh, doesn't feel good in your front pocket, so it works better in your back pocket, and so it's a back pocket knife. Um, this one here is by Colt. It's got nice stag bone handles. If you're sailing a lot, then maybe a Marlin Spike would be a great back pocket knife, relatively flat, even though you've got the big Marlin Spike on there, but it is... Uh, this one is four and a half inches long, almost, yeah, a little over four and a half inches long. You got a nice big sheep foot blade and you got your marlin spike. But you also have the uh, lever here, which you can actually attach a lanyard to, so you can pull it out of your back pocket a little easier. So again, something that is too big really to be riding comfortably in your front pocket, but you flip it in your back pocket and it's great. Same thing with like, an elephant toenail. I guess this one's actually a sunfish. Depends on who makes it. This one's by United and it's actually a sunfish whittler as you can tell here because it's got a uh, pen blade and it's also got a, uh, uh, a coping blade here. So it's a whittler style uh, by United but relatively flat still but really big also. I mean you're talking about over four and a half inches long here. So a lot of pocket or a lot of knife for the front pocket, but not so bad in the uh, back, back pocket. Same with such thing as this sunfish. Or here's a, an excellent example of a knife that would be great for the back pocket, but not a whole lot of fun for the front pocket. Because uh, as you see here, closed length is right at five and three quarter inches um, open length uh, put near 10 inches long nine and three quarter inches just yeah nine and three quarter inches long and you got a uh, this is known as the deer slayer by uh, both case and rough rider four and a quarter inch blade on there and a big handle but again relatively flat so if you're throwing this in your back pocket not too much of a problem but in the front pocket 
your whole pocket is taken up. So that's really what a back pocket knife is. It's just a big, flat knife that will ride more comfortably in your back pocket than a front pocket. Uh, and they come in really handy, and they're kind of nice to collect if you're into big folding knives. In any case, there you go. That's what a back pocket knife is. It can be any variety of knife as long as it's big and flat and goes in your back pocket. And often is a secondary carry and often a work knife. And so when you get right down to it, um, because you're just talking about a large flat knife as a secondary carry, uh, even in theory, a large modern folder could end up being your back pocket knife. Uh, however, things like thumb studs might cause a little bit of a hot spot when you're carrying it because it's going to be pressing against uh, some sensitive area. And then you also have a... Um, a uh, pocket clip which kind of stabilizes the knife even in your front pocket so a lot of people can carry a large modern folder like this even in a front pocket and um, it'll be all right with them so um, usually you don't hear so much about large modern folders being used as a back pocket knife but nothing stops you from doing it and if it's your secondary knife that you got in your back pocket for special occasions and stuff then yeah even a large modern folder can be your back pocket knife. Um, let me know what you think. If you're a person out there who does carry a back pocket knife, I'd love to know what it is that you're carrying and why you're carrying it. Um, also, if there's a back pocket knife that I didn't mention here, and I'm sure there's quite a few of them out there, let me know what you're using in your back pocket because uh, it'd be interesting to hear just what kind of people or just what kind of knife people are carrying as a secondary blade in their back pocket. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Knife Chats. And if you did, please like and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.